Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how we can make a sleep or are using the Unity particle system. So let's get started. Start by creating a new particle system and rename it to sleep aura underscore particle system. Let's reset its transform and set its max particle size to now we need a texture for this one. For that, we will go to Photoshop. We'll create a new file and rename it to Z. Because we need a Z letter for this effect. Width will be 500 and height will be 500. Click on OK and create a new file. Now select the color to black. Select the paint bucket tool and set the background black. Create a new layer. Now choose the text and change the color to white. Now we will need a Z letter, type Z and it's too small so select this one and increase its font size and I think this one looks good. We can make it a bit bigger. and resize it that's good now make sure it's centrally aligned on both x and y axis now right click on this blending options and select outer glow and inside outer glow with the opacity to 65 spread to this and size to something like 24. Click OK. Hide the background and save it as PNG. I use the shortcut. You can save it from file and save as PNG and that's it. inside Photoshop I'm creating a new folder and I'm renaming it to sleep aura okay after that drag and drop your sleep texture select it and hit alpha is transparent hit apply create a new material and rename it to sleep aura underscore matte and select the shader to legacy shader particles and add drag and drop your z letter and now drop this material to sleep aura particle system so you can see something like this so let's start working on that set the duration to one Start lifetime will be random between two constants, so the value will be 0 0.8 and 0 0.9. After that, start speed will also be random between two constants, so the value will be 0 0.25 to 0 0.6. But before the let's let me reset the camera. It's rotated and let's zoom it out on the z-axis. That's it. Now select the sleep aura again and now what I need is set the start size to random between two constants and the value will be 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. After that we can set the color to something like yellow. That's great. I'm zooming into the camera a little bit so that we can see it clearly. That's it. Okay. Color is selected, we can set the simulation space to world and uh, inside a mission we'll set the rate over time to zero and we will check burst, actually three burst. So we will press this plus icon three times, every time we will change the values. 
this one will stay 0 and this one will be 0 0.63 next will be 0 0.868 and here the count can be 1 for all of them the cycle here will be 2 interval will be 0 0.2 and this can stay as 0 0.01 and this will be 0 0.1 and probability will stay 1 okay after that what we will do is we will select the shape as cone set the angle to 90 radius will be 0 0.3 Okay, so radius thickness will be 0 0.5. Okay. And I think I should set this rotation to minus 90. So, that's it. Now, after that, we will select velocity over lifetime. And we will set random between two constants. I will change this value from 1 and 1.3 and put it back to 0 I think yeah that's right okay so now set the color over lifetime to something like this the usual add two keyframes here set this one to 0 and this one also to zero that's great now we will need to set the size of a lifetime and uh, we need a graph like this at a keyframe here and one here after that drag it down now we need to add noise to our particle system and uh, set the values our strength will be 0 0.1 frequency will be 0 0.5 scroll speed will be 0 0.1 you can also check the dampen if it is not checked and that's it i think that's it and that's how we make our sleep aura using the unity particle system and i hope you enjoyed the tutorial make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel for weekly interesting videos we will see you in a new video goodbye